for us, it stands for goals and ambition mean everything. So what does, what's a goal? What's a goal? Something you set to achieve. Something you set to achieve. Who knows what ambition is? Say, say that a goal is your destination, right? So say you drive into Virginia, right? Ambition is your gas that you put in your car, right? Ambition is what drives you to get your goal. And we all know what everything means. So we treat every single day like it's the last game to win the shit. but my education is literally what saved my life, right? And that was in seventh grade. Hopefully today, if we get a chance, we can talk about maybe what you guys want to do when you leave school and we can help y'all figure out how to get there. Um, as I said, I'm a former NFL athlete. So when I first retired, um, I didn't know who I was. I was playing a sport. Since what, eight? I stopped when I was 27. Yourself and allowing yourself to forgive others for yourself. A link, a link. There's actually a whole platform called LinkedIn based off the connections that you have. What about you, Will? What's the relationship? Give me a word. Like a trust. Trust. I'm hearing trust, bond, link, connection. If you feel a certain way, if you feel like, ah, like mentally I'm, I'm not feeling like myself because I'm comparing myself to X, Y, Z, if you gotta unfollow it, unfollow them. You gotta take a break from it, take a break from it. The important thing to remember about leadership is that it's not about position, um, but it's about influence. So leadership isn't about position, it's about influence. and then you want to tell us about the task. So what were you responsible for? Um, probably like financial, just mostly financial stuff for next year, not even next year, for the things I want to do once I hit college and throughout my high school career. 
I'm not sure if I can apply anything to, to actual school because I feel like most of the stuff is real world things rather than stuff you would learn in school. So I'm not sure if I can really apply that to my school learning. With the mental health course that we went through, um, could I struggle with mental health badly? So what you guys taught me, I can really put through with, um, what is it, like my healing process, everything like that, yeah. Only relationships. Um, my biological dad, I don't have a strong, strong relationship with them. So I want to try to build, but it can't really force it, so. Probably the, th the things about holistic health, because I do have a lot of uh, family members who are going through things, and I could, you know, inform them of that and help them help them do that and all that other stuff. Along with, um, I have peers around my age who are planning on getting jobs too. The STAR method for interviews that I can use that. I, I, I can let them know about that so they can do better in their interviews and stuff. So, um, financial literacy. The more that we all know about it and like work together, it will be like more constructive at home. I'm not sure exactly because I I feel, I feel as though the time we spent on each subject was enough. But if we could, we we could um could learn more about the um financial aspect of things. Like um I'm still I'm still I'm still confused on taxes. Not gonna lie, I don't I don't know what to do with that. So I'm, I'm still like, but yeah, not not much, not much. Uh, money, really. I, mean, I suck at saving money. Financial literacy. <laughs> that's something that you really need in the real world, so.